Today, environment protection and energy saving are advocated. In coal utilization, thermal efficiency is low and pollution is serious, so that burning coal is prohibited in most parts of China. By virtue of excellent quality, environmental protection, and energy saving, the gas produced by the generating furnaces has gradually become the main way to obtain a low-cost heat source. Tangshan Riska is the earliest professional manufacturer in China, making large, single-stage and double-stage gas-generating furnaces, as well as a large manufacturing enterprise in China. The latest generation of these are widely used in metallurgy, chemical industry, ceramics, and a number of other various fields requiring a heat source. We achieve zero carbon dioxide emission and the cost is reduced by 20 to 30 percent when compared with direct coal combustion. The two-stage, environment-friendly, air-cooled gas generation station is mainly composed of five major systems. Coal preparation, gas generation, purification, pressurization, and electrical. The coal preparation system mainly includes the belt conveyor, electric hoist, and suspending coal van. The gas generation system is a two-stage gas generation furnace, mainly consisting of the following parts. The coal bin for storage, the slide valve to cut off coal filling and to prevent leakage, the connection section buffers during coal filling. The stoker is a hydraulic double drum, double channel coal filling device, and between the drum and the shell, grease is filled with a grease pump to achieve a good seal preventing unsafe factors caused by gas leakage. This makes the coal filling process more safe, reliable, and avoids shutdown caused by faults of a one-channel coal filling device. Furnace end cap, upper section gas accumulation area, and carbonization section. Compared with the common type, the internal heat preservation is so good that the heat loss is reduced, the carbonization and coking of the tar and gas are ensured, and gas quality is improved while saving energy. The regulating valve adjusts the gas flow to conveniently adjust the furnace chamber gasification status. The furnace adopts a heat-resistant stainless steel center tube to guide gas smoothly into the accumulation area of the carbonization section while producing a high temperature to transform the tar at the bottom into high value gas through this reaction. This makes the system simple, resistant to high temperature, free of slag, long in life, and convenient in maintenance. The water cooling tank connects to the carbonization section to produce steam and meet the needs of the gas generation station. The water jacket structure is adopted to produce saturated steam which can fully meet the demand of the furnace without external steam, steam so that the production cost is reduced. The furnace adopts a wet ashtray, high ashtray seal, and high gasification pressure operation, achieving large and stable gas generation volume. The grate is made of heat resistant and wear resistant material with a slide away style structure for movement, making the ventilation and air distribution more uniform and reasonable so that gasification strength and volume is increased and operation is more stable. The discharge process has a strong slag breaking function. The double ash shovel cleans on two sides achieving uniform ash discharge. The, sh the ash shovels reduce the ash resistance. The hydraulic ratchets on both sides drive the ashtray so that rotation is more stable and reliable, having no mechanical wear and service life is longer. The furnace bottom T guarantees effective pressure relief and the blast pipes have a slurry valve to prevent backflow of gas. The purification system consists of the following. One, electrical tar precipitator. High voltage static electricity makes the tar and the gas atomized and charged to achieve tar removal. 2. The wet disc valve which effectively cuts off the lower section gas during hot standby. 3. The waste heat recovery cyclone dust collector. This is used to collect the dust in the lower section gas under the action of centrifugal force and to recover waste heat for energy saving. 4. Natural air cooling device. This critical equipment reduces the gas temperature using natural air for cooling and de-dusting. 
5. Gas Bipolar Intercooler. This is used to further cool the gas, remove most of the water contained in the gas, and achieve light oil atomization and condensation. It plays a key role in cold gas environmental protection. 6. Drop Catcher. It is a device for dewatering and detarring capable of balancing and buffering gas pressure. 7. Novel Fennel Water Evaporator. It is used to transform the fennel water heated by the gas waste heat recovery cyclone into water contained steam, which is then used as a gasifying agent supplied to the gas generation furnace and for fennel water substance splitting. Gas quality is improved with no fennel solution discharge. 8. Cut off water seal. This device in the gas system uses water to cut off the gas passage. In addition, a bypass pipeline is arranged to make the equipment maintenance easy. Pressurization system. This system generally adopts a gas booster which is selected based on the required air volume and air pressure inside the gas generation furnace. The roots blower may be selected for pressurization to satisfy the users having long distance and high pressure demand. The gas generating station designed by our company can be pressurized to 100,000 kilopascals, which is the first case in China. Electrical system. This system is a reliable, high-tech device, power frequency and frequency conversion, and the ingenious connection between PLC and man machine interface are the highlight and innovation of this device. The electric control system can achieve maintenance without shutdown and the best production status by adjusting the coal filling and ash discharge according to the load of gas generation furnace. The system configuration includes automatic coal filling system, automatic ash discharge system, gasification automatic tracking system, furnace bottom blower automatic control system, safety interlock system, etc. to ensure the safe and reliable operation and production of the gas generation furnace. In addition, according to user requirements, DCS can be configured. Process flow. Refined coal is formed into qualified lump coal in granularity 30 to 80 millimeters by crushing and powder sieving. The coal is then conveyed to the coal bin. For coal filling, rotary coal filling valves are adapted. Each furnace has two coal filling channels. Each channel is equipped with two coal filling valves. And between the two groups, there is a buffering coal bin. Coal filling is automatically controlled by the program controller in the control room. When the upper gas outlet temperature is higher than 125 degrees Celsius, valve 2 shall be opened and the lump coal in the buffer coal bin will fall into the gas generation furnace and then the valve 2 shall be closed and valve 1 will be opened for coal to fall into the buffer coal bin and then valve 1 shall be closed. In this procedure, each valve is open for 6 seconds and closed for 1 second. One cycle is 14 seconds. This time can be adjusted to complete the coal filling action and is also available to fill coal under manual mode. Lump coal is fed into the carbonization section furnace body and heated up to release and volatilize the moisture. Some gas is discharged from the top gas outlet and controlled at 120 degrees Celsius with pressure at 1.5 kilopascals. This part of gas is mainly volatilized, called upper gas. After carbonization, the coal becomes semi-coke to enter gasification stage. In this zone, the bottom gas temperature is up to 600 degrees Celsius and passes through the carbonization zone to perform the low temperature carbonization for the coal material and keep the bottom gas temperature at about 120 degrees Celsius. The other part of gas passes through the center pipe and vertical challenge of a heat-resistant brick wall when its temperature is up to 600 degrees Celsius. Gas is discharged from the bottom gas outlet and delivered to the purification system through the waste gas recovery cyclone dust collector. The outlet pressure is 2 kilopascals and the outlet temperature is about 400 degrees Celsius. This part of gas accounts for 55 to 70 percent of the total gas volume and does not contain tar or light oil but contains dust called lower gas. The upper gas pipe conveys the gas forward in an upward tilt direction with tilt angle no less than 40 degrees. The upper gas firstly goes into primary stage electrical tar precipitator after passing through the cutoff water seal. In the electrical tar precipitator, the tar is atomized and directional movement is charged to remove the tar and dust. The upper gas then enters the indirect cooler. Here it is cooled to about 35 to 45 degrees Celsius. The lower gas first passes through the waste heat recovery cyclone. Secondly, through the 
wet disc valve to enter the natural air cooling device, and then enters the indirect cooler to be cooled to 35 to 45 degrees Celsius. So far, the upper gas and lower gas cooled by indirect coolers will be fully mixed, and then go into the secondary stage electric light oil catcher for removing the light oil and dust. Before and after the electric light oil catcher, a cut-off water seal is installed to cut off the gas and steam. The cooled and purified gas is then pressurized by the gas booster and then goes into the drop catcher to remove the moisture in the gas and then supply to users through gas pipelines. The hot decocking system of the gas generating station mainly consists of the gas generating station, waste heat recovery cyclone dust collector, and electrical tar precipitator. RISCA two-stage gas generating station has solved four major problems faced by the traditional gas generation process. Phenol water treatment problem. Our company's patented waste heat recovery cyclone dust collector and phenol water evaporator ensure zero phenol water emission of gas generation station. This treatment technology first precipitates the phenol water in the water tank to remove the impurities and then pumps the water into the evaporator and then conveys the phenol water into the waste heat cyclone dust collector. Then it is heated by the hot gas and the mixture returns to the phenol water evaporator for gas water separation. After evaporation along with the steam, the separation substance as a gasifying agent preferentially enters the gas generation furnace for reduction combustion to produce hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, moisture and other substances after chemical reactions such as splitting so that in the station the purpose of the weight heat, waste heat utilization, gas quality improvement no phenol solution discharge is accomplished and the environmental protection and state energy saving effect is achieved. Nowadays, this treatment technology is the most advanced. Combustion Center Black Hole Problem The two-stage gas generation furnaces have been studied for many years in China. Many manufacturers have a center black hole problem because carbonization is not sufficient and combustion is incomplete. After many years of experiments and researches, our company has arranged a stainless steel center pipe and 36 surrounding gas flow channels in the carbonization section of the two-stage gas generation furnace to the posed carbonization heating space so as to form inner and outer ring radiation heat source. This heat source and the rising gas generated by the lower stage heat the coal to improve the gas quality. This carbon can be uniformly coked to avoid the gasification center auto control problem existing in two stage gas generation furnaces made in China. Tar removal problem. In the carbonization process, the volatile components in the bituminous coal will produce tar which will leave the gas generation furnace in the form of mist. During the primary gas cooling, high boiling point tar can be condensed and removed, but the low boiling point light tar will still remain in the gas, and it's difficult to remove the tar remaining in the gas by ordinary water washing. Detarring machines commonly used in the past have been gradually phased out because power consumption is high, efficiency is low, and management is complex. The electrical tar precipitator makes the tar and the gas atomize and does directional movement under the charge status to achieve tar removal with the help of high voltage static electricity. The electrical tar precipitator is highly effective with low power consumption, high tar removal up to 95 to 99%. The removed tar can be used as chemical raw materials, turning waste into treasure so as to solve the tar removal problem. Problem. Operation Black Hole Problem The traditional gas generation furnace operation determines the fire layer status and temperature inside the gas generation furnace in accordance with gas generation furnace phenomena such as upper and lower gas temperatures, carbonization temperature, ash discharge status, etc., and frequent fire detection, but cannot directly measure the temperature. Therefore, the operation black hole inside the generation furnace is formed because it's performed by operators manually based on their experience, so this mode of operation will inevitably be affected by the quality and mood of the operators. After years of research, our company adopts a JZ system, with which, as long as there is correct furnace condition, indicator setting, the microcomputer will automatically optimize furnace condition. An operator is only required to perform coal filling, ash discharge, and equipment control inspection in accordance with the indication on the microcomputer to ensure the stable and high yield of gas and low power consumption. RISCA 
two-stage gas energy generation stations, advanced and matured high-tech equipment, solving the four major problems, ensuring that the electrical equipment maintenance can be performed without furnace shutdown so as to make the gas generation furnace achieve reliable operation. The Riska Energy Technology Company Limited, China, was founded in 1980. Our head office is located in Tongshan, which is the heavy industry base in north of China, collecting scientific research, design, production, sales, and technical service. Riska China is a large professional manufacturing company which mainly produces coal gas generators with accessory equipment and environmental protection equipment. The company has the authentication of the ISO 9000, the ISO 9001, and the ISO 20000. With strong technical force, Riska China has good research and development capability. Cooperating with research institutions of Chinese Academy of Sciences, the North China Electric Power University, and North China University of Science and Technology, the company takes the leading position in research capability and technique. According to the demands of customers, Riska China provides a series of solutions, and our products have covered Taiwan, Russia, North Korea, Thailand, Pakistan, Indonesia, Bangladesh, and others, which are appreciated by our users. Owning completely independent intellectual property rights, Riska China has dozens of national patents. The company has produced single section gas generators and two section gas generators independently. The generators have become star products and have been widely accepted because of the advanced technology, high quality, and excellent processing.